Hello, and welcome to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's video is from Huddersfield. This is the Victoria Tower behind me. And this is in Yorkshire, the Texas of England, or as other people know it, God's country. It must be true, I've read, read it in Wikipedia. Anyway, I'm going to pan out now and let the main man take over. Well, that's a pretty good one to end on. This will wrap up the alphabet trivia. All in all, we had 25 entries. I think the letter M didn't have anybody, and we ended up getting a few come in late. So I'll be posting those this weekend. They won't be in the challenge, but they're too good to not post. So today's trivia, episode 485, the category and final one of alphabet trivia, 21 answers that start with the letter Z. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck on today's quiz. Question 1. In the U.S., they are known as marked crosswalks and common in urban areas. What are these alternating white and black stripes painted on the road surface called in the U.K.? The answer is zebra or zebra crossings. Question 2. Ruled by King Jaffe Jofur, what is the name of the fictional wealthy African nation in the Eddie Murphy movies Coming to America and its sequel Coming to America? Jaffe Jofur is the king of Zamunda. Question 3. Originating the name in a series of taunting letters sent to the San Francisco Bay Area Press, what pseudonym did the unidentified Northern California serial killer from the late 1960s to the early 1970s use? He called himself the Zodiac Killer. Question 4. A leading figure in the Mexican Revolution of 1910 to 1920, what was the name of the man whose most famous quote was, I would rather die standing than live on my knees? The answer is Zapata, or Emiliano Zapata. Question 5. A descendant of Abraham, who was the chief tax collector at Jericho, known for the biblical story in the children's song about him being a wee little man and climbing a sycamore tree to see Jesus. The answer is Zacchaeus. Question 6. A fictional rock star who is sent to Earth as a savior before an impending apocalyptic disaster, what is the name of David Bowie's alter ego from his 1972 rock opera concept album? His name was Ziggy Stardust. Question number seven. What was the first name of the American Brigadier General and Explorer for whom the 14,115-foot Pikes Peak Summit in Colorado was named? His first name was Zebulon. Zebulon Pike. Question 8. Born Sari Gabor in Budapest in 1917, what was the stage name of 1936's Miss Hungary, who went on to star in movies, television, and theater, and got married nine times? The answer is Zsa Gabor. 
Question 9. Sung by James Baskett, what was the title of the song from Disney's 1946 live action and animated movie, Song of the South, that won the Academy Award for Best Original Song? The answer is zippity doo -da. Question 10. Named after an 18th century German botanist, what is the genus of plants within the daisy family that are native to scrub and dry grasslands in Mexico and that symbolize remembrance? The answer is the zinnia. Question 11. Also slang for feeling peaceful and relaxed, what is the name of the type of Buddhism that focuses on awareness through the practice of meditation? The answer is Zen. Question 12. What is the name of the eukaryotic cell formed by a fertilization event between two gametes whose genome contains all of the genetic information necessary to form a new individual? That cell is known as a zygote. Question 13. Sometimes known as Indusin cattle or humped cattle, what species of domestic cattle in South Asia is characterized by a fatty hump on their shoulders, a large dewlap, and sometimes drooping ears? The answer is the zebu. Question 14. What was the last name of the musical artist who was as popular for his albums like Joe's Garage, Hot Rats, and Lumpy Gravy as he was for naming his daughter Moon Unit? The answer is Zappa, Frank Zappa. Question 15. In 1964, what country, along with Pemba Island and some other smaller islands, joined with Tanganyika on the mainland to form the United Republic of Tanzania? The answer is Zanzibar. Question 16. Most commonly found in the horror and fantasy genre, what is the mythological undead corporeal revenant created through the reanimation of a corpse? The answer is a zombie. Question 17. What is the imaginary point that is directly above a particular location in the celestial sphere, and since it is at the highest point on the sphere, it is the farthest up from gravitational force? That point is known as the zenith. Question 18. In game theory and economic theory, what kind of game is a mathematical representation of a situation in which an advantage that is won by one of two sides is lost by the other? That type of game is called a zero-sum game. Question 19. In the 1994 animated movie The Lion King, 
What was the name of Mufasa's most trusted advisor? A prim and proper hornbill bird with a strong sense of personal dignity. The answer is Zazu. Question 20. Switzerland's primary stock exchange, the Six Swiss Exchange, is located in what city, the largest in the country and a hub for insurance and financial investment companies? That city is Zurich. All right, that is it for today's trivia and for the category of alphabet trivia. I could probably do some of the letters again, but I definitely cannot do X, Y, and Z again. There just aren't that many words that start with X and Z that people would know that I haven't used in this year's alphabet trivia or last year's alphabet trivia. But we will be getting back to regular categories like Trebek trivia, which will happen tomorrow, and the befores and after, the May trivia, May birthdays, stuff like that, stuff we've been doing. We'll get back into those regular categories, plus some new specific categories that have been requested. So there's going to be plenty of trivia coming up. The alphabet trivia went great. Thanks for everybody who participated, who sent stuff in, and played the trivia. Our views went up a ton during this little category, so thank you very much. Here is question 21, today's tiebreaker. In the Christmas classic, It's a Wonderful Life, what is the name of George Bailey's youngest daughter who says, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings? In the movie, It's a Wonderful Life, George Bailey's youngest daughter's name is Zuzu. Zuzu Bailey. Thank you guys for watching. Tomorrow will be Trebek Trivia, and we will be back into the normal trivia quizzes. See you then.